Hi, Robert here from tmile.com. I welcome you to this tutorial about how to set up our free, oblique WordPress theme ready for your first blog post. You can find this theme in your WordPress dashboard by searching for oblique in appearance themes add new. After the installation is complete, activate it, then install and activate at least two of the recommended plugins, Pirate Forms and Product Review. If your WordPress blog is new, here is how it looks now. It's time to do some customization, so head to Appearance, Customize. I just wanted to mention that there is a pro version of this theme, with more features like Jetpack related posts, Slider, and you can use this feature with our Nivo Slider plugin, Extra Widget Area, Alternative Layout, Extra Colors, Footer Credits and Support. You can buy the Pro version by accessing the link in the description below this video. In the General Options tab, you can deactivate the search form in the header area and use the text field below to replace the menu toggle button with some text menu, for example. The header tab is where you can upload a custom logo, set the logo size, logo style, top and bottom padding for the branding, which is 100 pixels by default, and the top and bottom padding on screens larger than 1024 pixels. Again, if you buy the pro version of this theme, you'll be able to insert a slider in the header area here using a short code. Choose your excerpt length here and tick if you wish to hide any of those elements from your index or single post. For example, if you tick to hide date author archives on index, that info will disappear immediately and will stay hidden after you hit the save and publish button. Here are the fonts options for your typography and you can set them as you wish. Choose the font name, style, sets, font family and sizes for your body text and headings. I suggest you to check the mobile version of your website before saving this setting, using the controls below. This way you'll see exactly how much you can play with the font sizes in order to perfectly fit the screen on mobile devices. Block title and tagline can be changed here in something related to your business and you can set a site icon below by selecting an image with suggested dimensions. To create a social profile like in the theme, go back to menus, create a new menu named social and add items with custom links to your social networks. Choose the display location as social, then click save and publish. Colors are part of your online image as a personal brand and you can choose them wisely here by setting the background color, the primary color and all the way down to menu icon and review color. Here is the current header image. Hide it or add a new one with recommended dimensions then move to the next step. Click to add a new menu here for your main menu. Name it as you wish, then add items like custom links, posts and pages. In menu location, select the main as your primary menu from the drop-down list and hit save and publish when you are done. Oblique supports one sidebar which slides along with the main menu. From this section, you could add sidebar widgets by clicking add a widget. To remove an active widget, click on the arrow to expand it then click the red remove link. If this will be just a simple blog, keep the front page displays as your latest posts. Done! This blog is ready for new content and here is how you can publish your first article in no time. Go back to your dashboard, then click to add a new post. Set a title, write a text in the visual editor with perfect formatting for paragraphs and headings. Upload one or more images among paragraphs, then set the article format as standard, aside, image, video, quote or a simple link.
Choose an existing category for your post or add a new one. Type separate tags with commas in this field, then set a representative image in the featured image field. If this article is a review about a product, you can use the product review extra settings to display details in a more advanced graphics. And you can make money using your affiliate links here. Hit the publish button when you are done. This was just a first step for a long journey with your WordPress blog. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel because I work hard to create more tutorials about further WordPress administration with tips and tricks to make it awesome. Give us a thumbs up and share this video and if you have any questions, type them in comments below. I'd be happy to answer them.